Hi, um, welcome to this video about beeswax wraps. So these are my beeswax wraps that I have already made. They're so good. So basically, they're in place of cling film, which isn't recyclable. Um, so you got this. You can either wait till it warms up a bit in your hands and it sticks on, or you can tie it with string, or you can just leave it in fridge like that. So they're really, really good. I absolutely love them. They're so easy to make. Although you can buy them, and there are some great companies making and um, selling the beeswax wraps. So what I found you need is a variety of things. Um, some old fabric, um, cotton, it's really important. Um, in a material that either you like or something that's old around the house, so you don't need to buy anything new for this. Other thing you can do is old t-shirts. This is an old pyjama top I'm going to upcycle into some beeswax wraps. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to show you guys with this material. This is so pretty. So when cutting it out, it's completely up to you what size you do. But just think, it's got to be practical enough to cover things. So um, like this is good for jars or cups and things. This one's better for covering pots and you could even go bigger than that. Yeah. So obviously as well as the fabric, you will need beeswax. So these are beeswax chunks that I bought. Let's see, beeswax. Um, the first lot I bought, bought from my local farm shop and they were 95p for this size. Um, the next lot, lot I did buy on Amazon, um, just because I could buy them in bulk from a honey producer. So this is a byproduct that we can put to really great use to avoid some plastic. You will also need an oven or an iron, one of the two. There's two ways to do it. The one I'm going to show you now is the iron way because I think that's better but you can also put it in the oven. So, um, and then the other thing is some baking paper. This is a bit of a waste, but I have actually reused this quite a few times now. And as long as you make sure you iron on the right side of it every time and not in the, the beeswax the inner, it's not necessarily a waste. And hopefully it will save lots and lots of plastic. So I'm gonna start, because I'm excited to. So I want to make a nice square one again. I find these beeswax wraps already so handy, not necessarily just for food. Um, but also I've wrapped all our soaps travelling in them so I've got the soap bar and you can just wrap it up put it in your luggage and there's some degree of breathability and yeah I really like it I love these wraps so that's amazing so I've got a square creator and put a bit in here so I do have some already coated up shapes up so it looks like cheese this is all, I grate it on the, you can do the fine setting, I find it works better doing it on the less fine setting. And then you just sprinkle it on. Try and reduce your waste by making sure it's all not on the fabric. Right up to the edges as well. Your baking paper, make sure that you're not ironing on the side that's had bees beeswax on it before. I just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. Just like that. So it will all melt onto the fabric. So you don't need your iron super hot, um, just warm enough to melt. Okay. 
so be careful because it can still be very hot. So you can see, there we go. So you will find some bits that will be clumping of beeswax, and you just want to make sure that you get that off before it dries. So this is what it looks like. So it's starting to dry. We have it. So that's the difference. You can see the beeswax is absorbed in now. So you will find that you will still have some beeswax on paper afterwards. Um, this, is, this is a waste, yeah, and that's why I reuse baking paper again because this will heat up with the next iron and work its way into the next round of fabric. So. so that's how I make my beeswax wraps. I hope you enjoyed it and saw that it's very simple. This is the one we just made, this is one I made earlier, um, and you can see that so it's quite rigid. Good luck in making them. You can also use the oven. I found with the oven, like I said when I was doing it, you can't work the beeswax into the fabric as much as you can with the iron. You have to get it out and smush it down and it can get dirty. Um, I definitely prefer the iron method. It's so easy, so quick. Um, and I found about this, work. So maybe this much beeswax for one of the big sheets and about half of this for one of these. So it doesn't use a lot of beeswax, that's about 50p's worth of beeswax. And then you will also have some fabric, like I said earlier. If you make sure you reuse stuff, uh, old t-shirts, maybe an old bed sheet, that should be no cost. Just make sure it's cotton. And yeah, happy plastic free.